When we sleep, we go into a period of sleep called REM sleep, or rapid eye movement. Our skeletal muscles can also go into something called atonia. It's generally where they relax because they're not needed to perform a great deal of movement during periods of sleep. It also means they can be repaired or strengthened, and there's also they don't use up a great deal of energy because there's no activity in the muscles. However, this can be a problem if the mind wakes up from sleep during a period of REM sleep. Though the mind is awake, the arms and legs and other parts of the body are still in atonia. So no matter how many signals from the brain go to our limbs to lift or move them, nothing actually happens. Just for a few moments, until our body actually then comes out of atonia and normal movement is restored. This is called sleep paralysis. And whilst it's a perfectly natural thing to happen, it be extremely scary whilst it's actually occurring. However, it is just a natural part of how the body operates. There's no actual physical harm being done to the body at the time. After a short period of time, the body will resume its normal function. Having said that it's a part of the normal body's operation, there are circumstances where it's more likely to occur. These include being sleep deprived or having some other kind of sleep disorder or if you're having an irregular sleeping pattern. Also if you're drinking alcohol and being a young adult. Of course, as you see from this short list, it's quite possible or even likely that some or all of these conditions are actually likely to happen in young adults more than other population groups, which may account for why they experience sleep paralysis more than others. There is another element, however, to sleep paralysis that can be even more disturbing than just the loss of control over voluntary movement. This is related to the activity that's actually going on in the brain as the body is moving from sleep to waking. REM sleep, as well as relaxing the muscles of the body, is also the period of sleep where our most clear and lucid dreams take place. This relates to the amount of acetylcholine which floods our brain during REM sleep and lack of various countering chemicals in our brain to stop it happening. As a result, our brains are sometimes even more active during REM sleep and when they're fully awake. This is magnified by those people who are sleep deprived as they will more readily enter into REM sleep and when they do enter into REM sleep they'll continue in REM sleep for longer than normal. All this goes to say that we could be dreaming about scary monsters or frightening situations in our REM sleep and whilst we're in the process of waking up our minds are still actively processing the dream but at the same stage they realise we can't move. This combination of sleep paralysis and a vivid afterimage of the dream again is fairly common. This kind of waking nightmare that lasts for just a few minutes during the process of waking up could be up behind some of the myths about ghosts and witches and ghouls. So we now head into Halloween. Remember, try to relax, don't drink too much, get plenty of regular sleep, or you may see one too many scary creatures.